Hi friends, it's Angie. Um, not dead. Despite the rampant rumours in the night circulated to people like Ron Swanson, Sean Atwood, Russell Brand, and so on, not dead. I do, uh, I do know that Matt Taylor put out a video saying a, a YouTuber was dead. I hope it's not Babs. And by Babs, I don't mean Barbara O'Hare. She's very much alive and um, doing brilliant work. Uh, and I really am going to try as well to go beyond my comfort blanket of daily Bible reading. Um, but if it if it just is while I'm in recovery, and I am recovering, thank you so much to those who prayed with me. You know, just like kept me out of hospital, really kept me. Um, you know, in my childhood, I'd be in hospital for weeks with that kind of. Uh, as not asthma like bronchitis, pleurisy, pneumonia kind of thing going on. I'd be I'd be out of action for weeks. So I'm very grateful. I'm on the mend. Um, uh, so yeah, I don't know who has died. I think Matt. It was a bit irresponsible to release news of a YouTuber suicide and then hold back on who it is. You know, it's obviously going to lead to speculation. And if I'm wrong about Babs. You know, forgive me, I'm certainly not going to send out emails saying it's her. Because I don't know, and until you share, you know, we don't know. But um, I do have a lot to say. I think Brian Harvey's doing amazing work at the moment. Um, fucking up, you know, like, like many of us do. Overboiling, but still, the truth bombs are beyond... Beyond, just so I have some of my own to share, um, and and I will try and do a video straight after this. But for now, I'm going to just jump into another Bible study. So let's go screen share, just because this is what keeps me alive, folks. M Matthew said, um, you know, I have openly shared suicidal ideation in the past, and I have. But as I tell my children, I'm 63, if I haven't killed myself yet, it ain't going to be suicide that takes me out. The only conscious suicide attempt I made, I made was at 15 when I took an overdose. And my sister Fiona, who's not with us anymore, uh, saw me and grabbed them and made me, I don't know how she got me, she induced me to vomit. She just knew what to do, even though I was only 15 and she was 16. But she knew to 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 get me to vomit. I didn't need my stomach pumped or anything. And um, that's the last suicide attempt I made. Suicidal ideation is a huge part of recovering from uh, trauma-based mind control and uh, ritual abuse in childhood, drugging, MK Ultra experimentation. Suicidal ideation has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. But I don't know if it's because I have the blessing of children and grandchildren or just the divine protection of God. Like when I was 15, I didn't have any children. And, and my sister caught me taking an overdose Fiona and stopped me or made me vomit. I don't know how she... She went crazy at me. She went really angry at me, which is righteous anger. You know, I... I I know people that commit suicide, they get blamed for cowardice and leaving a legacy of their pain to whoever is left behind to deal with for the rest of their lives. I've seen the fallout from suicide. My brother-in-law, a Disney brother-in-law did it and, and his three children never really fully recovered. Um, so, so I know, and I, and I say, I say, even if I might blurt out I want to die, I want to die, I want to die. I would not take that action. I would not do that. So, to those who are genuinely concerned, thank you. Um, and to those who said things like, oh, well, I never trusted her, so I don't really care. <laughs> thank you for, <laughs> thank you for just showing where you stand, you know. Anyway, let's just get into this. Give us an encouraging word as we move into this song that you wrote.
encourage the body. Oh, this is so beautiful. What lies beneath the surface? So we move beneath the surface. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord would say, my children, I see all so that you don't have to see it all. So don't be discouraged about what you can't see. Just look at me and know who I am. And knowing that I see it all, I see it all in you, but I also see it all around you. Yeah. I see it all in the world yep. so that you don't have to see it all. So rest in me knowing that, my children, says your, the Lord your God.
Second Thessalonians, I think we finished there. We're ready to start First Timothy, yeah. Pretty sure. Okay. And do you know, there's something, like, I hear people, I do listen to a lot of Bible studies I have for like three decades. Um, but with the age of computers, you can mm, do a study, and it's powerful, but you can just like Google or... Bible search um, keywords, or if you have a theory you want to prove, or a doctrine you want to endorse, you can just with the computer, uh, you can just select the scriptures that support what you want to say. So there's something powerful about reading the Bible in in sequence without selecting scriptures to back up your particular theory. And I, I and Vinnie Eastwood, if ever you listen to this, you had a guest on who made a good case for the Bible being out of chronological order. And I'd love to get a hold of that Bible that is allegedly a more accurate sequential document of the books. And then there's supposed to be more Dead Sea Scrolls found and yet they get vetted first by Israel. And so anything that is counter narrative gets held back. It's a bit like the Vatican with their secret basement library the dead sea scrolls are vetted first before they're released um but every bit of truth can come alive and so this is why i'm recommending that people just do you know when you first become a christian and i heard charlie ward and MK, uh, mel k and different people doing this it's like oh my goodness it's like it, it, using the bible like um, a fortune telling thing so just and I've done it in the past, in my early days. Open a page and expect the word to apply to your very circumstance or situation, and that can happen. But then this lady, I can't remember who it was, talking to Charlie Ward and others, and saying, oh, I've got a wand and just, just uh, you know, tell me when to stop and I'll find a scripture that's speaking to you. It, it blurs into so much... Um, it's like there's an attempt to exchange the new world order for the new age order, and that's not it. That's still not it. So, um, but I'm not saying that from a lofty place. I'm just saying that from, yeah, in the early days, I would just open the Bible, you know, and trust God to show me something. And he would. He goes, he, he meets you where you are. But we can't turn it into a horoscope. So anyway, let's just carry on where we are and see what God has to say today. The book of Timothy. Okay, so we're still on the Apostle Paul, who some try to discredit. I, Paul, am an apostle and special assignment for Christ, our living hope. Under God, our Saviour's command, I'm writing this to you, Timothy, my son in the faith. All the best from our God and Christ be yours. <laughs> Can you imagine greeting someone and saying, oh, God says hello. <laughs> it's a bit like when we say Jesus loves you, you know, but he does. Self-appointed experts on life. Yo, well. On my way to the province of Macedonia, I advised you to stay in Ephesus. Well, I haven't changed my mind. Stay right there on top of things so that the teaching stays on track. Apparently some people have been introducing fantasy stories and fanciful family trees that digress into silliness <laughs> instead of pulling the people back into the centre, deepening faith and obedience. Wow. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is on Bible Gateway. The first book of Timothy in the message translation. The whole point of what we're urging, sorry about the voice, just I'm on the mend, I'm getting better. The whole point of what we're urging is simply love. Love uncontaminated by self-interest and counterfeit faith. 
a life open to God. Those who fail to keep to this point soon wander off into dead ends of gossip. They set themselves up as experts on religious issues but they haven't got the remotest idea of what they're holding forth on with such imposing eloquence. It's true that moral guidance and counsel need to be given, but the way you say it, and to whom you say it, are as important as what you say. It's obvious, isn't it, that the law code isn't primarily for people who live responsibly, but for the irresponsible who defy all authority, riding roughshod over God, life, sex, truth, whatever. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. They are cynical toward this great message I've been put in charge of by this great God. I'm so grateful to Christ Jesus for making me adequate to do this work. He went out on a limb, you know, entrusting me with this ministry. The only credentials I brought to it were violence and witch hunts and arrogance. Wow. See, Paul was one of the, well, he was the most highly educated uh, of the apostles. But the thing he focuses on is not his high education, but the fact that he persecuted Christians before he got Converted. Wow, that's humble. And he says, but I was treated mercifully because I didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know who I was doing it against. Grace mixed with faith and love poured over me and into me. And all because of Jesus. Here's a word you can take to heart and depend on. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. I'm proof, public sinner number one, of someone who could never have made it apart from sheer mercy. And now he shows me off, evidence of his endless patience to those who are right on the edge of trusting him forever. Deep honour and bright glory to the king of all time, one God, Immortal, invisible, ever and always, oh yes. Reminds me of that Catholic hymn, Immortal, Invisible, God, Holy God. I'm passing this work on to you, my son Timothy. The prophetic word that was directed to you prepared us for this. All those prayers are coming together now, so you will do this well. Fearless in your struggle keeping a firm grip on your faith and on yourself. After all, this is a fight we're in. There are some, you know, who by relaxing their grip and thinking anything goes, have made a thorough mess of their faith. Hymenaeus and Alexander are two of them. Wow. Wow. Let's read that again. There are some who, by relaxing their grip and thinking anything goes, have made a thorough mess of their faith. Hymenaeus and Alexander are two of them. I let them wander off to Satan to be taught a lesson or two about not blaspheming. Yeah, because if you try and correct somebody repeatedly and they won't listen... The Bible says that ultimately Satan will teach them. They'll learn the hard way. It's like you wish, you wish your children, you wish your loved ones, you wish even your acquaintances would learn, but sometimes they have to learn the hard way, and that's just the nature of fallen human beings. Simple faith and plain truth. The first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way you know how for everyone you know. Yeah, I used to do that, especially <laughs> when I was subjected to the rosary every night in the Catholic rehab. 
Um, and, I, and I will pray the first part of Hail Mary because it's in the Bible, but not the second part because Mary worship is wrong. Um, so the second part I used to pray in my mind or in just in a whisper every, for everybody I knew. <laughs> Whether loved ones, family, acquaintances, enemies, whoever, you know, that was my rosary. Okay. Yeah, pray. Yeah, pray especially for, yeah, rulers and for their governments to rule well. Yeah, I prayed for them too. So we can be quietly about our business of living simply in humble contemplation. This is the way our Saviour God wants us to live. He wants not only us, but everyone saved, you know. Everyone to get to know the truth we've learned. That there's one God and only one. And one priest mediator between God and us. Jesus. Who offered himself in exchange for everyone held captive by sin to set them all free. So if your God is not the Father of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, that's not God. That's not God, the creator of the universe. Sorry for that, but it's true. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. And that's the truth, I'm sorry to say, people, to those who are offended by that truth. Jesus Christ, who offered himself in exchange for everyone held captive by sin to set them all free. Eventually, the news is going to get out. This and only this has been my appointed work. Getting this news to those who have never heard of God and explaining how it works by simple faith and plain truth. Since prayer is at the bottom of all this, what I want mostly is for men to pray. Wow. Not shaking angry fists at enemies, but raising holy hands to God. Wow, wow, wow. And I want women to get in there with the men in humility before God. Not primping before a mirror. <laughs> or chasing the latest fashions. But doing something beautiful for God and becoming beautiful doing it. This was written thousands of years ago, guys. I'm not making this up. This is the Bible. <laughs> I don't let women take over and tell the men what to do. Now, I had an auntie like that, at least one auntie, whose husbands were henpecked. And even as a child, nobody had to tell me that that was wrong. <laughs> To see a henpecked husband and a domineering, overbearing matriarch is not a beautiful thing. It's not. It's not. But a good husband does not suppress a strong wife. There's a balance. But a, a henpecked husband is not a beautiful sight to behold at all. Right. Uh... I don't, yeah, I don't let women take over and tell the men what to do. <laughs> they should study to be quiet and obedient, <laughs> along with everyone else. Yeah, like the guys too. Men have to be quiet and submissive and obedient to God. We have one mouth, two ears. So it's not a feminist thing. It's not a, you know, it's not a sexist thing. Adam was made first, then Eve. <sighs> Woman was deceived first, our pioneer in sin, with Adam right on her heels. You could say that, you could say that, but his appointed role was to protect her, and how did she end up alone in the garden with the deceiver? I'm not saying a husband and wife need to be glued to each other all the time. But, you know, there's a, there's a an exploration there. But, yeah, she was the first one. On the other hand, her childbearing brought about salvation, reversing 
Eve. So like her sin was redeemed, you know, like paid for. But this salvation only comes to those who continue in faith, love and holiness, gathering it all into maturity. You can depend on this. That's worth listening to a couple of times, guys, even for myself, even though I've read it many times, because that's a deep word. So shall we finish this beautiful song about he sees beneath the surface? And please, well, no, thank you. Thank you for your prayers and your support. And, um, you know, your partnership in, in not quitting. And uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> We're on a journey. Let's not miss the journey. A king and creator. song to me I'll share the link to this and um, you know this could go bigger and bigger I could I want to share I've got a new prayer book I've had it before but I gave it prayer power prayers warfare that works by Sheila Zelinsky and um, and I could give an altar call at the end as well but you know um, I'm, I'm doing my part for now, and um, it's not hard to connect with Jesus. You know, contact me, even in comments, if you want to know, you know, what to do, how to connect. But it's not, a, you don't need a priest. It's, um, it's you and God. It's you and God. It's you and God, just... Like, I, 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 there are people that just said, Jesus, if you're real, help me. And um, he, he shows himself. So God bless. This is Angie. Um, pray for... Pray for me. Pray for my colleagues. Pray for whichever YouTuber did commit suicide. That's very sad. Um, pray for yourselves as well. You know, I pray that this is in the Bible too. I pray the prayer of Jabez. I pray, God, that you would bless me very much indeed. I pray that you'd enlarge my territory. I pray that you'd strengthen me and keep your hand upon me. And I pray that you'd keep me from evil and help me not to cause pain. In Jesus' name. Right, bye, guys. <laughs>